Hi guys, it is the AFL Yank back here again doing another AFL tipping video. I apologize for being a bit late on this one since I'm obviously filming this on a Tuesday morning, but uh, nonetheless, uh, gonna get the tips in anyways and all that good stuff. So I ended up getting six out of nine tips correct last round. Uh, the three games I got wrong were obviously the Swans, which I made a big battle, which I made a huge it was a bit of a gamble of a pick there but very understandable and then I ended up tipping the Lions and and uh, the Lions and Frio both lost their games unfortunately but yeah regardless though all the other tips were correct tip the cats they won doggies Melbourne the Saints Tigers and Giants they all won and, uh, yeah. Nonetheless, let's get on to the uh, tips for round 11. Swans versus Richmond at the SCG on Friday night. This is definitely going to be a very interesting game, but... I'm, I'm leading on the Swans here. I'm, I'm going to say it. They've been a very inconsistent side. Like... Just a bunch of players just seem to be super inconsistent. Like Kayla Mills and Isaac Heaney specifically are massive examples. But regardless though, if the Swans do play, you know, do play well, I definitely see them winning this game. They can definitely be in an on and off team, but I'll say the Swans win by two goals in this game. The Swans are very much a very on and off team in my opinion. Like, very much a very on and off team. But, yeah. But, there is some big losses, though. They they will lose Josh Kennedy for... They will potentially lose Josh Kennedy for a majority of the... Re Josh Kennedy is out for the majority of this season. Which is very unfortunate, but, yeah. Yeah, Josh Kennedy, he's going to be out for the rest of this season. Well, at least the majority of the season since it's 8 to 10 weeks. Meaning that Kennedy will not be back until late this season. If he even does make it back. But yeah. Then at the GABA, Brisbane Lions coming off a very shocking loss to Hawthorne. And uh, GWS, they're coming off a massive one against the West Coast Eagles. I mean, the Giants. The Giants had a really good performance last week, but that was because, but that was because they faced a team in the uh, West Coast Eagles. But yeah, I think the Lions real. Re I believe the Lions will rebound this week. I see them. I think they'll have a really strong game here at home, and I'm gonna say Lions win this by 43 points. Then the Geelong Cats versus Adelaide. At GMHBA, the Cats have been a very... They've been getting back on track pretty well. Crows, they've been a very much mixed bag this season, but... I feel like the Cats are the much stronger side here. So I'm gonna go Geelong to win this game. I'll say Geelong win this by, uh... I'll say Geelong win this by 33. Then the D's versus Frio... Very, very intriguing game because the real question is, can can the D's be beaten? It happened. It took them ten rounds for them to finally lose their first game last year. Will this will will their streak end this year against a team like Frio? Frio have been a very off team as of late. They've lost their past two games. They lost to Gold Coast and and Collingwood. Will the will the Dockers get back on track here? And will this and will this be the game where the D's lose their first? This one's very decisive to me, but I'm gonna go with the underdog pick here. I feel like Frio might actually get the upset here. We've seen it before. I just have that gut feeling in me. I just have that gut feeling in me that the D's might lose. So yeah, this is the ultimate gamble pick this week. And uh, yeah, 
And the next, the West Coast Eagles versus the Western Bulldogs. I'm going to go with the Doggies to win this game. I might actually change my pick for the D's game if things do transpire or something like that. But it's going to be very tight. I mean, the, the, the D's are going to be really tough. But we've, but we've seen teams like them go down before. But yeah, for the Western Bulldogs, I got them beating, uh, obviously, huge percentage booster. I got the Doggies beating beating the West Coast Eagles in a massive beatdown. And the next is the Gold Coast Suns versus Hawthorne at TIO Stadium. This is definitely going to be a very intriguing game. Both teams have seemingly been playing well. Like, the Suns were obviously on that two-game winning streak as of late. <clears throat> like, the Suns have been on a good stretch as of late, but... The real question is, can they get over Hawthorne? Hawthorne have been super inconsistent this year. But I think I'm going to go with the underdog pick here. I'm going to go with... I think Gold Coast gets a very tight win here. At TIO Stadium. I'll say Gold Coast win this game by 9 points in an ultimate thriller. Just Hawthorne has been super inconsistent. And I feel like it could hold them back. The next St. Kilda versus North Melbourne. No questions here. Going with St. Kilda to win this game. They have been an absolutely dominant side. I'm going to say St. Kilda win by 57 points. Massive percentage booster for them. Then Collingwood versus Carlton. The pot, um, the pie is coming off a pretty big win against uh, Frio. Massive upset win there. And Carlton, they're coming off a big win. They're obviously coming off an absolute thrilling win against the Swans. Carlton showing they are the real deal. And I, I have no questions here. I'm going to go with Carlton to win this game. I'll say Carlton win by 19 points. Carlton have certainly proven that they're a flag contender this year. But yeah. And finally, Port Adelaide versus Essendon. No questions here. Going to go with Port to win this game. Just Port have gone on the right, have really gotten back on the right track, and I feel like they'll continue on in these coming weeks. So those are my tips for round 11 of the 2022 AFL season. Wait, did I say round 10? Yeah, round 11. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, quick overview of the projected ladder I have: D's first, still Lion second, Carlton third, Frio fourth, St Kilda fifth. Cat 6th, Swan 7th, and the Western Bulldogs now in 8th. Richmond fall back to 9th, Port 10th, Collingwood 11th, Suns 12th, Hawthorne 13th, GWS 14th, Adelaide 15th, Essendon 16th, Roos 17th, and the Eagles in 18th. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. This is the AFL Yank signing out. I, I, I don't even know what to say. <laughs>